Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie Vio where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. In my last tutorial I discussed the difference between fixed price contracts and hourly contracts on Upwork and Upwork is a freelancing platform where you can find different jobs that you can do online. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Upwork desktop app so that you can get started tracking your hours and get paid per hour once you start a new contract with a client on Upwork. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one on how to become a work from home freelancer. Before we get started, I just want to make it clear that I have not been sponsored by Upwork to create this video. All opinions in this video are my own. I'm simply sharing with you my experience working on Upwork. I am currently a top rated plus freelancer on Upwork as of the time of creating this video. I have a 100% job success rating and have earned over 80,000 US dollars since I started freelancing on Upwork at the end of 2017. I have a whole bunch of different tutorials you can follow about freelancing on Upwork, which I will link you to in the description below. So let's get into the video. To start doing hourly jobs, you need to download the Upwork desktop app by going to upwork.com slash ab slash downloads. The app allows you to track time by running the time tracker as you work. This also gives you payment protection on hourly contracts. You're going to go ahead and click on your download version. If you don't know what version of computer you have, type in about your PC and then under system type, you'll see if you have a 64-bit operating system or 32-bit. Choose the standard version of whichever operating system you have and then click download Upwork desktop app. So once the .exe file downloads, go ahead and double click on it, then agree to the license agreement, and then use your login credentials to log in to Upwork. Now you'll get a bit more information about the app. Upwork on your desktop is a time tracker and instant messenger. You'll run the time tracker and describe your activity as you work for payment protection on hourly contracts. You can access the time tracker and messages through the Upwork icon in the system tray or menu bar. Okay, so now we've opened up the time tracker. You can click on this message icon to open or close your messages with your clients. If for whatever reason the time tracker hasn't popped up, you can right click on the Upwork icon in your system tray right here and go open time tracker. So now you have your clients here. And now you'll select the client you want to start working for. So you can see that right now the time tracker is off. To start working, simply click the on button. So now it will be tracking the work that we're doing. It will start to track time as you do work for this client. You can fill out a memo here of whatever it is that you're doing and click update. You can even set a reminder to create a new memo at a certain time interval if you want to update what you are working on. This is a way to keep your client updated about what you are doing. To turn it off, just click the off button. If you have done work for a client and you want to add work manually, you can click add manual time and enter the date and time slot where you worked for the client and also add a memo. But remember that the manual time does not qualify for Upwork hourly protection. So once you start tracking your hours, your hours will pop up here for how many hours or minutes you have worked today. And then here will show you how many hours you have worked for this client this week. If there is an hourly limit, it will show you right here. So where it says latest screen capture, the Upwork desktop app automatically uploads a screenshot and activity summary to the work diary for every 10 minutes that a freelancer tracks time. So as you are working, the app will take screen captures that will be saved in your work diary so clients can review your progress and check that you are actually doing your job, whether that is video editing, graphic design, translating, writing, data entry, or whatever else you have been hired to do on your computer. So once you have finished working or if you are stopping to take a break, you'll just click the off button. You can turn the on and off button as needed to track your time working with the client. To view your work diary, you can click view work diary, and this will direct you to Upwork's website where you can view all the hours you have worked for this client and also toggle through different clients. So here you can toggle through your different clients and you'll be able to see the time auto tracked reflected by the green square. So you can see here and manually tracked will be reflected by the yellow. 
Alternatively, you can click on My Jobs and then go to Work Diary as well. So from here, you can also delete anything that you want. So this has been automatically tracked time and I wasn't actually doing any work here. I just wanted to do this as a demo. So I'm going to press delete. And this will delete the screenshots, memos and activities for this. So once I delete that, now it will show that I haven't done any work for this client so far. So let's go back to the time tracker. You can change the settings by clicking on the gear icon and going to settings. And here you can select the screen capture either to capture the active monitor or capture all monitors. And you can also adjust the notifications for when the app takes a screenshot. You can turn off the notification or sound in case you find it distracting while you work. And you can test it out as well by clicking test it out. And you'll hear a little click sound um, so you'll know when the app has taken a picture or a screenshot of, of your screen while you're working. There's also other things you can change as well. The time zones, you can take a camera shot while with screenshots while you're tracking as well. And if you are working on hourly contracts with multiple clients and you want to change between them to start working for a new client. So let's say I did an hour work for this client here. I can go back, select another client and click start. And this will start tracking for my next client as well. And that is basically all you need to know about using Upwork's desktop app and time tracker. I will be creating more Upwork tutorials soon and giving you more tips on how to get more jobs and secure more clients. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click like on this video. It really does help me out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.